assignment accomplished. And we talked about how Jesus Christ, when he was anointed after the prayer and fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he entered the synagogue. And when he entered the synagogue, he declared in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 14, he went, entered the synagogue, and when he entered the synagogue, Luke chapter 4, verse uh, 14, he returned into the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went out through all the surrounding of the region. Verse 15 says, And he taught in the synagogue, being glorified by all. Continue. I wanted to move up to 19. So he came to Nazareth where he was, had been brought up and his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And what did he say? As he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the mind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. So today, last week, we handled part one and part B to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the poor. And I explained that when people don't have the gospel, the good news, when people have not accepted the good news, they are poor and wretched. The gospel is the light of God, is the glory of God. It is the wealth of God inside the soul of a man. The gospel is eternal life. So he who does not have that light inside him is wretched and poor. Even though he may look rich on the earth, he may look well on the earth, but in the spirit, this person is wretched and poor. I spoke about that. Then I spoke about, he says, he has come to heal the brokenhearted. He has come to heal the brokenhearted. And I spoke about how Jesus needs us together. Because there are many things, there are many arrows of the enemy that are fashioned breaking people's lives. People are broken. In every side of their lives, people are frustrated. People are broken through different experiences of life. People are broken by those who love them and those whom they love. People are broken by experiences of life and things that have not happened as according to their desire. So there are many things that have broken the hearts of people, sicknesses, setbacks, all manner of wickedness have broken the hearts of people. And you can see people walking but they are broken. A broken heart is a heart that has left the will of God. It's a heart that has left the power of God, the way of God. That heart is directed in another way, which is not of God. And that way is full of evil and destruction. And finally, it is full of regret. But when the heart of a man is drawn to God, that heart begins to be healed, begins to receive hope, begins to receive life, begins to re receive the goodness of God, the mercies of God, and that heart has the power now to overcome the challenges of life. Hallelujah. Now, today I want to talk about the third one, and I'll just talk about one, proclaim liberty to the captives. Jesus say, I have come, I'm anointed, the Spirit of God is upon me to proclaim liberty to the captives. All human beings, because of the sin, the corruption which entered us through our first man, Adam, we are all born in the world under the captivity of sin. We are all born in the world under the captivity of sin. The conscience of a man is corrupted by sin. Hallelujah. The conscience of a man is corrupted by sin. So when a man is born by a woman, he needs to be born again. He needs to be born again. Before being born again, 
that man is still under the oppression of the enemy. And I want us to look at a few scriptures before I explain myself better. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 19. Romans, chapter 8, verse 19. The Bible says that the annexed expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the honest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Let us jump to verse 21. Verse 21 says, Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. The creation will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Creation will be delivered. Creation will be delivered from the bondage, from the bondage of corruption. This is what I'm talking about. Kwamba, when we are born, this world is a place of bondage of corruption. And through Christ Jesus, we will be delivered from this bondage to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Are you getting the point? Then verse 22 says, For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. We can still go to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. These scriptures will help me explain myself for you to understand what God has put on my heart for you. Uh, the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8. What does it say? Uh, let me read this. Therefore he says, When he ascended... On high, he led captives, captivity captive. When he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Take note of that. There is something that uh, I want us to get before we understand this message that Jesus has done. Now, the Bible says he declared that the Spirit of God is upon me to proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Hallelujah. The spirit of God is upon me to proclaim liberty to the captives. And we see in the book of Ephesians 4, 8, uh, that he ascended, he descended inside, down. And, and we can get the truth of that when we go now to the book of Colossians. Uh, Colossians, uh, let me bring it to Colossians uh, chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2 verse 15. When the Bible says, he who ascended, you cannot say that he ascended if he did not descend, isn't it? You cannot say that you have ascended if you are not descending. So, he who ascended, that is in Ephesians 4, 8, descended. But Mutu Anasema, where did he descend? Where did he go? Colossians 2 15 says, having disarmed the principalities and power, he made public spectacle. Now, go up there. Go up there. Maybe uh, that is 15. Go to 14. Go to 14. Maybe we can see how that happened. Uh, uh, go to 13. Now, just go to 15. Let me, let me just hit it on the nail. Let me hit it on the nail. Having disarmed principalities and power... He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing them all. Now, when Jesus descended, he descended into the state house of the devil, into hell. Hell is the center of activity of the devil and the kingdom of darkness. And we all understand that hell is somewhere down. Okay? Hell is somewhere down. So, Jesus descended in hell. And let me read another version of that scripture, maybe for you to understand what I mean. The other version says, There Christ defeated all powers and forces. He led the whole world he led the whole world to see them being led away as prisoners when he celebrated his victory. 
Now, when Jesus Christ descended, he went to hell. And when he went to hell, he went to the center of the kingdom of darkness. And when he went to the center of the kingdom of darkness, he disarmed them. That means he took all the authority from the devil. He took all the power from the devil. Before Jesus, the devil operated with authority. There was nobody to confront him, to contradict him. Unless this person had the Holy Spirit. Now, from the ancient of days, God operated in a way that when he sent a man to earth, he anointed that man with his Holy Spirit. And the man could do the work of God with victory. But after he had finished the work, either he could pass that spirit to another person or the spirit will be lifted back to God. But in this case, when Jesus comes, he descends in hell, he took all the authority. The people who came before Jesus did not take authority from the, law, from the devil, okay? The devil had still authority and he was oppressing men. He had taken captives with men who were made captives. Walikuwa mateka wake. Walikuwa prisoners wake. So he had a big prison for men and souls of people. And he had his demons and his cohorts. Wala ambao wanafanya na kazi. Wana mamlaka juu. Yesu alikuja akaondoa mamlaka kwao. Ad aliwa disarm. Ukisikia mtu ameku disarm. When somebody is disarmed, when you disarm a soldier, you take away his weapon to fight. And if Askari comes here and he doesn't have a gun, I tell you, when he issues a command, some of you will tell him, dare me. True or false? But when he comes with a gun here and he issues a command, who will dare him? Because you know, the next thing is, Sasa, nisaidie na kamba. Siju kama neza pata, nilisahau kuambia. Kama tungepanda pata kamba mrefu, kama hakuna, tunaeza endelea. Nipatie, wamama inyo na maleso mzuri nilete. Leso, kama una leso. Leta ama kitamba, ene shol, ya njooni nazo. Asante moja pale. Sasa, dada chukwe yo yako refu na hii, unganisha. Unganisha hizo shol. Unganisha na ingine mrefu. Zifanyike kamba. Zikuwe mrefu. Unganisha asante. Naomba brother Tiang njoo hapa. Na nyinyo nyinyo wawili njooni kwa madhabao. Sasa hii kamba ni yangu. Nilete nilete viti. Viti vitatu ya wa ndugu na dada. Brother Tiang Wewe utakuwa katikati. Wewe ndiyo sasa the devil himself. Ka, ka kwenye kiti mbele. Kando kando. Kali hapa dada. Dada mungine njoo hapa. Dada songa mbele, songa hivi kido. Ka hapa. Huyu is the devil. Huyu principalities who you powers how I want to represent the highest office of the kingdom of wickedness wako hapa wana discuss vile wamearibu millions of souls na wanasema vile sasa yule ambaye alifikiria anaweza kutawala na kushinda amekufa Wame make sure kwamba wameingia katikati ya watu watu wakasulubisha yule aliitwa mwana wa Mungu si ndio Sasa shetani yako hapa sasa msionge kitu mjifanye tu na discuss kitu So unaona wako busy unawaangalia hapo wamefry fraini unaona The devil principality and powers Sa so, walipokuwa wana discuss all of a sudden the power and the light entered their kingdom 
nikiingia mnasikia nikiingia hivi mstuke eh mkistuka mwanze kunipiga vi, yani ni kama who is this eh A, ata mnajaribu kupiga mimi lakini nitakuwa na kuweka moja na unaenda chi unaenda chini in acting lakini sitakuweka ile ya nguvu kabisa unanisikia uh, uh, sitakuweka eti so don't worry so you, have you ever acted my sister don't fear wakati napiga hivi unajifanya ume umeanguka chini so the devil they are discussing jesus comes the great light of god the great power of god the one who was who is and who shall be the alpha and the omega so wanafikiria kwamba wamemaliza duniani the bible say he entered hell the center of the devil the devil himself is seated on his authority the principality and powers and then he comes then when at temeka eh then he comes he starts with the devil chini chini kuja hapa chini chika ka ka nyuma sasa wewe wewe mwingine kwa katikati hao wamefungwa tayari eh so what jesus did eh? alifanya hivi the devil principality and power aliwafunga akawanyang'anya silaha na akaanza kutembea nao akionyesha victory zake na akasema hii ndio kazi nimefanya nimemaliza hawa nimemaliza nguvu zao nimemaliza mamlaka yao Nimemaliza. The Bible say alifanya hivyo hadharani, aliwabruta, aliwavuta vuta. Yaani umeshika mateka umewafunga, wanatembea wakikufuata sasa munifuateni sasa. Nimewashindia hawa. Kujeni, kujeni msisi resist, mzirizie. Mmeshashindwa sasa una resist nini? Hawa nimewashinda. Kwa nguvu za msalaba. Hawa wote, shetani, ma principality, wote nimeshinda. Akawafanya peupe peupe mbele ya ulimwengu mzima principalities zimefungwa nguvu za giza zimefungwa nguvu za maadui zimefungwa wote ni mateka wa Yesu they are slaves Jesus has overcome them he has finished the work he has laid the spectacle he has destroyed them they have no authority the devil the head principality and power they are all tied up disarmed and brought down under the feet of Jesus no authority again they can no longer manifest the way they used to be are you getting it sit down my children appreciate them so for me to understand for you to understand so this is what Jesus did he disarmed them and he brought them down the principalities the powers he triumphed over them Yaani kila alifanya kwamba aliwa he defeated their powers and forces let them all the world to see them being led away as prisoners baada ya Kristo kufanya hivyo sasa akatoka katika jehanam na ile mamlaka walikuwa nayo sasa akachukua na alipo panda juu akaachilia hiyo mamlaka ya kushinda adui kwa manabii akaachilia kwa mitume akaachilia kwa walimu akaachilia kwa uh, evangelists akaachilia kwa pastors na akaachilia kwa watoto wake ambao wanaamini the gospel unanipata vizuri 
Sasa kwanzia pale, the gospel, which is the light of God, is now in the hearts of these people. The light of God is in them. That is why Anasema, you are the light of the world. The light that shines in darkness and darkness cannot prevail. When you shine this light, this light will draw men to me. Let me explain something here. Let me explain something for somebody to understand. Maybe you don't understand. Okay? Hallelujah. Open 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. The Bible says this. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. The, the, the old King James says, we are to God and to God a sweet server of Christ. A sweet server of Christ. Sava ya S-O-V-O-U-R. Sava is a meaning of test. We are to God the test of Christ. Yani sisi wa Christo kwa mungu, sisi ndio test ya Christo. Are you getting the point? We are the test of Christ. Sasa hapa duniani, the test of Christ. Kile ambacho buwana, anamaliza, anatimiza. What Jesus is doing on earth, he is doing it through his children. Anafanya kupitia kwa watoto wake. Na tunapo angalia, the Bible as we started to read kwamba, we are the children of God and the creation Umbaji wa mungu unangoja for the manifestation of the sons of God. Sasa dunia haingoji kristo kwamba aje tena. Wakati kristo anakuja, anakuja sasa kunya kuwa kanisa. Lakini dunia haingoji kuja kwa kristo tena. Bali yesu alikuja, mkombozi alikuja. Kwa hivyo dunia sasa inangoja wala ambao wamebeba the test of Christ. Wala ambao wamebeba arufu ya kristo waende waokoe watu. We are the fragrance of Christ who have been given the power of God. In other words, we are Christ's knowledge. We are the beauty of God. We are the glory and the power of God of righteousness made manifest in every place. We are the ambassadors, the mouthpiece of God who proclaim liberty. Amen? So that those ones who are under bondage, let us read Philippians chapter 2 verse 15. Philippians chapter 2 verse 15. For you may become blameless. Philippians 2 15. For you may become blameless and harmless. Children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Among whom you shine as light in the world. But as was if you we shine as light in the world. Verse 16 says this. Holding fast the word of life so that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run a vain or labored in vain. Kwa hivo, sisi, sisi watoto wa mungu, we are the light of God. We are the fragrance of God. Sisi ndo tunaleta test ya mungu duniani. And I'm going to explain that in a bit. So that we... We, we must pray that God will open us and open our eyes that we may be able to go and set the captives free. And we can see this in the book of Isaiah. Let us open Isaiah. Isaiah first. Isaiah 42, verse 22. Isaiah 42, verse 22. Look at how the enemy has put people in captivity. The Bible says, but this, this is our people robbed and blundered. People are robbed and blind. All of them are snared in holes and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey and no one delivers for the plunder, for plunder and no one says restore. How and what ambao wamefungwa kwenye vifungo na hakuna mtu anakuja kusema rejesha. Unanipata vizuri? But to the same the same chapter when you go to verse 6. Chapter 42, verse 6, look at what the Bible says. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. The Lord is addressing us. And will hold your hand, I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. 
as a light to the Gentiles. Go to verse 7. To open the blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. Verse 8. I am the Lord that is my name. And my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to the carved image. Buwana nasema, mimi ndiyo mungu. I am the Lord. And I have given you as a covenant. You are the light to go to the world. And what is your responsibility? There are people in prisons. They are bound and held. You are the one to open the prison doors and lead them out. Are you getting the point? There are people who are not just in prison. They are sitting in darkness. You go there and light the light of glory. Wakati you speak the gospel. The Bible says the gospel is the light of God, which is the glory of God. Isn't it? The people realize. They begin to receive the wisdom of God. They were covered. Hawana ufahamu wa maisha. Hawana nje ya kwenda. Wakati unanena the word of God, they realize who they are, they come out of darkness. Now, wacha nukwambia kitu kimoja. In the book of Lamentation, chapter 5, I want you to see what happens to the people when they are in prison. The Lord is speaking the same word, but he explains how people are in prison. Lamentation 5, let's start from verse 7. This is what the Lord says. Our fathers sinned and are no more. We bear their iniquities. Continue. Servants rule over us. There is none to deliver us from their hands. Who are ruling over us? Who are ruling over us? Do you know why the Bible is saying in the servants? They were already made servants. They were already made slaves. The Bible says he led captivity captive. A servant will only go with the way things are. Kwa hivyo mapepo na principalities of darkness have been made servants. Yani inamanisha kwamba wanafaa wati sauti yetu na uamuzi wetu. Ambao buwana ametupatia. Lakini hawa mapepo ambao tayari wamewe kwa chini ya migu yetu. The servants wanatawala watu. The servants rule over us. There is none to deliver us from their hands. Kwa hivyo, watu wanatawalua na wala ambao ni captives. Na hakuna mtu wakuwaondoa katika hao. Kwa hivyo, lazima kuwe na mtu atakaoenda kusema, deliver, O Lord. Restore, O Lord. We decree in the name of Jesus. Na ndiyo sababu Yesu wakasema, proclaim, the word of liberty. Kila wakati napo simama hapa. Na natangaza. Katika jina la yesu. Wale ambao wamekufunga wakuachilie. Mtu anafikiria na ongea tu. I'm proclaiming liberty to the captives. I'm proclaiming deliverance to your life. I'm proclaiming deliverance to your future. They cannot oppress you anymore. Umpaka kuwe na mtu ambaye. Atakuja kuwaokoa kutoka kwa mikono ya mateka. Na hawa mateka tayari wameshindwa. Angalia tu. Kwa hivyo ukiona watu wanateseka. Ni mateka ambao tayari wameshindwa. Unapata sasa. Sasa sisi kazi yetu. Tunapoenda kwenye mateka. Tunapiga wao tunasema haujui wewe uko huru haujui Yesu alimaliza kazi haujui kwamba umaskini huu unaweza malizwa kwa nguvu za Bwana haujui kwamba magonjo haya yanaweza ponya tunapiga wao na neno la Mungu pa wanaamka ha ndio wana pare ha inawezekana wanatoroka shetani this is our duty we go to deliver them from their hands na wala ambao walikuwa nawalinda hawana silaha za kutupiga Sisi ndio tuna nguvu na mamlaka. Lakini katika hili andiko tunaona verse 16 says Lamentation verse verse 6 not 16 go back. Verse we read 7. 
We read seven. Now let us go. Let's go to seven. Amen. Seven. Uh huh. Go ahead. We read that. Servants rule over us. There is none to deliver us. Eight. Uh huh. Nine. We get our bread at the risk of our lives because of the sword in the wilderness. Wapendwa. Wakati watu kukula kwao ni ngumu. Wanatafuta lakini hata katika kutafuta wanauawa kule. Kuna wakati katika kutafuta chakula cha siku wanagongwa kule, wanaumizwa kule. Maisha ni magumu sana. Wanafanya kazi kama simba na wanakula kama kunguni. Wakati watu chakula tu cha tumbo ni vigumu kukipata. Maisha yao ni kama hayana mbele wala nyuma. Na ukiwaangalia hii historia ilianza na babu zao. Sio wao peke yao. Mimi katika kukua kwangu nimeona watu wangu wakiteseka sana. Mpaka unatoka shule unapata mama chakula hakuna. Kuna wakati njaa ilikuwa sana. Mpaka mama anaenda kwa tingatinga ile unga ambayo watu wamesiaga ikaanguka chini. Anaongea na mwenye tingatinga anasanya anakuja kupiga kupika chakula tunakula. My friend hiyo huyo ugali hauwezi kuweka meno hapo. Because ni mchanga tupu. Lakini kwa vile unanja unaweka ugali na unairuhusu iteremuka haraka. Shida ni kushiba. Na kesho haujui utakula nini. Na kuna watu wanaishi maisha kama hayo. Hata kuna watu wanakula chakula moja one meal a day. Na penye wameenda kufanyia mtu kibarua huyo mtu anawatisha anawapiga mtu amekwambia atakulipa elfu moja, ukimaliza kazi anakuambia na hii kazi hujafanya vizuri Kwa nini nilikwambia ufanye mpaka hapa hujafanya kwa hivyo sitakulipa elfu moja, atakupa mbili. Haya ndio mateso ya watu ambao wamefungwa kwenye magereza Biblia inasema kwamba tunakula mkate wetu at risk of our lives Yaani mtu ambaye hana chakula hata anaweza kukula chakula ambacho kiko contaminated. Ukipatia mtu mwenye mkate ambao umeexpire na siku mbili na huyu ni maskini atakwambia hiyo ni nini? Mkate ambao una mea mold anakula. Ha- haoni kwamba hiyo inaweza dhuru maisha yake, haoni. Na kumbuka katika village yangu wapendwa, ngombe ilikuwa inakufa. Watu hawajui ngombe imekufa ugonjwa gani wanaenda pale wanachinja ngombe wanangangania ile nyama wanaenda kukula bila kujua magonjwa ambayo yako ndani ya ngombe they are getting their bread at the risk of their lives watu hawa wamefungwa because of the sword in the wilderness maisha yao yako jangwani na kule jangwa si jangwa peke yake kuna sword kuna ukanga wa, u, ukanga wa maisha magumu Yaani ukikaa wilderness na maisha bado inakuchonga. Yaani hakuna siku na mko kiwa sawa. Kama si chakula watoto wako wasomi. Kama si kusoma. Yaani kila mahali ukanga unachonga. Yaani hakuna kitu kizuri. Ile hali kuna mtu katika sehemu hii chakula sio shida kwake. Watoto wake sio shida kwake. Hata vingine vinaongezeka na hafanyi kazi kama wewe. Yeye anaamka hivi kidogo, Mpesa zinaingia kwa account zinaingia hata banks zinamkujia kumwambia boss hauko broke tukupatie pesa wakati we unalia njaa mwingine ana chakula mpaka kinabaki kinaharibikia kwa fridge tofauti yenu ni nini the same place where you are suffering somebody is really enjoying ni kwa sababu ya maisha ya mateka tuendele Vastain said our skin is hot as the oven because of the fever and famine. Ushaa kama mahali jua lipo. Mtu mwenye anafanya kibarua hushinda maisha yake kwenye jua. Jua linamchoma proper. Ukweli ama si ukweli? Wewe ikifika saa 3 umekaa kwa nyumba yako una watch TV. 
ama uko kazini umetulia mahali pazuri kuna mtu kazi yake ni kwa jua anachomeka na jua lote na bado njaa haimuondoke ukienda kule mashinani utapata watu mtu analima kuanzia asubuhi aliingia kwa shamba saa 12 saa tisa bado akoko kwa shamba na pengine hata hajakunywa uji wala kukula chochote na akitoka pale hajui ataendea wapi apate chakula cha tumbo continue they are ravished they they ravished the women in the in Zion the maidens in the cities of Judah wapendwa kama kuna watu ambao uteseka kama kuna shida katika familia ni wanawake eh wasichana wetu wakienda kuolewa vijana wana mwenye ameoa msichana wetu anamzalisha watoto kama watano in two years two years Unashangaa alikuwa na manager aje. Hebu angalia rafiki mwambie alikuwa na manager aje. Unajua hawa watu hawana TV. Hawana any form of entertainment kwa nyumba. Hawaonge yangi kwa nyumba ni shida tupu. Ikifika saa moja mafuta hakuna kwa taa. Na nyumba zao sio nzuri za kusema wacha nitulie nje kido. Unajua huku kwa sababu ya stima hata unaweza kaa nje ya nje saa mbili bado umetulia tu. Kule hakuna. Ni giza tupu na kule kuna right runners. Ukikaa nje <laughs> utashutukia umemwagiwa mchanga. Kwa hivyo watu wanajifungia kwa ashanti zao. Kwa hivyo ikifika jioni mimi nakumbuka kwetu vizuri wapendwa. Wakati mwingine tulikuwa tunakosa mafuta ya taa tunatumia kuni kama kulight sasa hiyo light ni ya kusaidia chakula kipikwe tukule siku moja mama alikuwa amechinja kuku na hakuna taa sasa akaweka vipande 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 akaviweka kwa sufuria akasahau kichwa hii sijui shida ni nini wapendwa nilikula kichwa mbichi na sikuwa naona Ni realize kama nimefika hapa. Haijapikwa, nimeikula nimeimaliza. Mbichi, nikaangalia hivi ni mbichi na bado siku naona ni kama ni shida. Kichwa mbichi. Hakuna taa, huwezi ona. Na una njaa. Kwa hivyo watu hao wamefungwa saa moja, saa mbili giza linapoingia wanaingia kitandani. Na wakiingia kitandani ni mili tuongee, mili zinaongea si akili zao mili. Yaani mtu ambaye amegandamizwa na amefinywa maishani hananga time ya kufikiria. Hana. Usifikirie mtu ambaye ako chini ya bonde ya umaskini ana time ya kurison. Hata akiwa na hekima nani atasikia hekima yake? Umesoma Biblia kweli we? Ha maskini akiwa na hekima hakuna mtu atasoma na kusikia hekima yake. Hekima yake inarudi kwa mifupa yake akae nayo. Lakini mujinga mwenye ana pesa watamsikia. Lakini siku hizi labor pain zinaanza what week. <laughs> siku ya pili bado tu na unajua tuko 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 West West Hospital inaitwaje? Eh Bungoma West eh ama tuko Lumboka inaitwaje hiyo? Life care. Na siku ya pili bado tu <laughs> Siku ya tatu daktari anasema iko mbali bado. <laughs> Siku ya tano daktari anasema hii nayo ime hii nayo imechosha sana ingia bwana hapa cesarean. Ni watoe mtoto. Lakini wale walikuwa nafanya kazi mpaka last minute. Ni kama labor pains aziko zinakuja. <laughs> Mtu anaona tu mtoto anatoka. Wakati watu wamefungwa kwenye ufungwa wa mama na watoto wa kike ndio uteseka sana. Umaskini unapokithiri kwenye familia na kwenye mji na kwenye nchi, 
wamama na watoto wa kike ndio uteseka sana hata saa hii kuna sambuli ya wazee ambao wakishaona hali imekuwa ngumu anatoroka anazima simu anaenda mji mwingine na anaacha mama na watoto pale pale watoto wake angalia such as a, a situation hata nishaona hapa katika industry yetu hapa anaenda kabisa princes were hung up by their hands and elders not respected na angalia <laughs> princes ni watu ambao wana mamlaka watu ambao wamepewa mamlaka katika mikono yao bwana yesu asifiwe lakini mikono yao imefungwa juu hata akijaribu kutafuta kitu hakipatikani mikono yao imefanya nini hawa watu ambao wamefungwa mikono hawa ndio wangekuwa msaada wa watu wao kuna watu katika familia zetu ambazo wangekuwa msaada wa kuokoa wengine hawa ndio wangefungua njia ya wengine kufata these are the people who could go to universities and become ceos these are the people when they get jobs are the people who will pay school fees for their siblings these are the people who will care for their society the princes their hands are tied wakati mungu amekuteua kama princess wewe ni mtu ambaye ukiondoka nje unaleta baraka na ushindi kwa familia yenu let's go ahead Biblia inasema the elders are not respected wakati ufungo umeingia watu hata watu wenye umri hawana heshima kuna wazee wengi hapa unakutana naye mzee mzee mkongwe kabisa anatafuta mzee mwingine ni mkongo kuliko baba yake mpaka unamhurumia unasema huyu mzee sasa maisha yake kwa namna gani Biblia inasema wazee hawaheshimiwi na tunaishi katika hizo siku za mateka wazee wamefungwa hawaheshimiwi Mzee amepigana, amesomesha watoto, wamemwacha pale. Amebaki kutafuta, anaenda kwa majirani, hata yeye anafanya vibarua ndiye ale. Na ako na watoto wanaendesha pikipiki vizuri, wanaendesha magari. Wanasema ule achana na huyo mzee, siku zake zimeshafika. Hauwezi kubarikiwa. Na wewe na utamaliza hivyo hivyo. Lazima tuheshimu wazee. Young men ground at the milestones boys staggered under loads of wood. Mnaiona ukienda huko kwa hardwares utapata watoto wetu kule. Hao ndio wanabebeshwa simiti. Na wenye wanaobebesha hata sio inhabitants of this land. Vijana ambao ni nguvu. Biblia inasema wao wanatumika katika ku grind na wamebeba mizigo twende they stagger under heavy loads na haya ndio maisha yao vizazi vyetu visiwe hivyo wapendwa watoto wetu wasiwe hivyo hawatafanyika mateka kwa sababu sisi wenyewe tumeteuliwa kama nuru ya kutangazia mateka kuondoka kwenye mateka yao twende mbele The elders have ceased gathering at the gates and young men from their music. Kama mji uko sawa, wazee ndio ukaa kwenye gates. Wakipeana hekima. Na wakipeana hekima wanabarikiwa. Lakini hawapatikani. Wanaume watoto wadogo young men wao ndi wanatengeneza music yani maisha ya furaha maisha ya utamu hawapo maisha yamekuwa magumu zaidi continue the joy of our heart has ceased our dance has turned into mourning wakati adui ameweka watu mateka hakuna furaha ndani ya mioyo yao na kila wakati michezo yao ni vilio continue 
the crown has fallen from our head, what to us? We, for we have sinned. Continue. Because of this, our hearts faint. Because of this, our eyes grow dim. We were to read up to verse uh, 16. We can leave it there. Dear brethren, haya ndiyo mambo ambayo watu upitia wakiwa katika ufungwa. Na Bwana Yesu ametutuma sisi kama nuru tuliposoma kitabu cha Isaiah kwamba sasa sisi tumepewa mamlaka chini ya covenant ya Bwana kwenda kutangazia mateka waliofungwa kwenye vifungo waondolewe. Na ndugu yangu wakati unakaa hapa na nakuhubiria neno kama hili unaona ni ujinga. Kumbuka kwamba katika familia yenu mateka ni wengi. Wewe mwenyewe pengine hata bado wewe ni mateka. Na lazima tuinuke katika jina la Yesu and proclaim liberty. Lazima watu wainuke waseme I will not die a slave. My people will not die a slave. I declare liberty to my soul. I declare liberty to my finances. I declare liberty to my health. Lazima kuwe na mtu atakayesimama kwenye pengo. Na nilisema hivi, ukiona watu walifungwa, kuna mtu alileta ufungo. Na lazima kuwe na mtu ambaye atasimama, alete ufunguo wa kufungua watu hawa kutoka kwa ufungua wao. Na Bwana ametuambia sisi ndio nuru. Sisi ndio Bwana ametuongezea light. Hatuwezi kuwa na light na sisi ndio tunafifia na sisi ndio tunakufa na sisi ndio tunafinywa. Lazima tutoke kwenye magereza. Sisi tumepewa mamlaka. Yesu ashafunga the principalities and powers. Ashawabruta, ashawaangusha, ametupa mamlaka kwamba sisi tusimame tutangaze kwamba wazee wetu hawatateseka watoto wetu hawatateseka wasichana wetu hawatateseka maisha yetu yatabadilika vizazi vyetu vitaona utukufu wa Bwana lazima watu wakasirike na natangaza maneno haya nataka kanisa hili liwe na watu ambao wana ujasiri wa kusema sitazikwa mie Sitazikwa mi apostle Alex nione watoto wangu wakiendelea kuwa slaves of the enemy mimi sitaenda kwenye gereza wala sitazikwa kuona miji zetu zimefungwa kuona nchi yangu imefungwa kuona familia yangu imefungwa lazima watu wangu waondolee kwenye magereza magereza za umaskini na magonjwa Lazima kuwe na mtu aseme restore master restore my god restore our inheritance restore what the devil has stolen from us restore what the worms have eaten restore our health kuna watu unakaa kwenye familia magonjwa yamezingira watu wako lazima kuwe na mtu ambaye anaenda huko akisema in the mighty name of jesus there must be restoration of health in my family there must be life kuna watu hapa kwenu unazika leo kesho unazika kesho kutwa unazika utangoja na uendelee kuzika mpaka lini simama mahali pako kama shama chukua ukanga katikati ya garden tangaza kwamba maadui wote na waangamiza biblia inasema shama alisimama katikati ya shamba lao na akasema wacha waje hata wakikuja elfu moja hakuna shida akasema nitapigana vita na neno la Bwana linasema wengine wakamtoroka wakamwacha peke yake wakati unapigana vita wapendwa kwa jina la Yesu watu huona ni upumbavu watu wanakutoroka Ma, wengine wanasema angalia kaka kanajifanya wenye unaombea kwenye familia yako wengine wanakutharao lakini usife moyo Bwana amesema ametupa mamlaka kuweka mateka huru kumbuka kwamba umepewa mamlaka na nuru Simama kwenye shamba leno tangaza na ukanga wa Bwana mateka na waweka huru naangamiza maadui wangu na wazungusha nikiwaweka chini ah usiachilie ukanga mpendwa usiachilie ukanga uliopewa Biblia inasema shama alishika ukanga mpaka mkono ukakufa ganzi hakuachilia by the time amemaliza 800 soldiers fallen under one sword that is the power of the living god nu unaposungusha hivi ah bwana anaangusha maelfu na maelfu bwana anaangusha maelfu na maelfu 
wakati unaliita jina la Yesu hapana kufa moyo you are the light of god continue calling on this name there is hope ahead kama mimi ambaye ninakuhubiria nilikuwa kule angalia mahali liko watu wangu sasa hawako vile na bado tunaenda mbele nimekuja kutangazia mtu leo hata na wewe bwana anaweza kuondoa nimekuja kuwatangazia watu wa Mungu magereza lazima yafunguliwe katika jina la Yesu mimi nimepewa mamlaka na bwana kama mtume kutangazia watu magereza zenu lazima zifunguliwe in the name of Jesus mliofungwa kwenye vifungo vya maadui bwana Yesu ameshinda amepiga adui na tunatangazia wafungwa ondokeni katika vifungo vyenu na tangazia wale wako katika mifungwa token in the name of Jesus Christ come out of your sickness wenye wamekaa kwenye giza i come to decree to you nuru ya bwana imewachia ondokeni kwenye giza waliofungwa kwenye vifungo vya magereza ya wa watu wa, ki, wa, wa, wa people who are witches witchcraft watu wa matamaduni na waondoa kwenye mifungo ya vyenu ondokeni come out of them come out of them i'm decreeing to some people today your prisons must be open lazima muondoke kama yesu alisema proclaim the year of liberty to the captives na simama leo kama mtume wa bwana ambaye amepewa mamlaka to decree to every person hearing me liberty 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 freedom 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 ninapotangaza ufalme wa giza lazima ukwachilie freedom kuna watu umetezeka watu wamekuzunguka zunguka na vitu viovo viovo freedom in the name of Jesus Christ tokeni kwenye mifungo vya lazima tuamini hili neno la Bwana wapendwa kama kanisa lazima tuinuke lazima tumaanishe hatutakaa tukiona tukiteseka wenyewe na watu wetu wakiteseka kama watu wenu wamepigana miaka 20 kwa nini na wewe usipigane miaka mitano katika kutafuta Kristo kwa nini na wewe usipigane miaka kumi utafute Bwana na baadaye upate ushindi na baadaye usahau wako na watoto wako waishi maisha mazuri na baadaye waseme courtesy of Abraham we are free we are children and the inheritance of God na kutangazia in the name of Jesus vifungo vya maisha yenu vifungo vya uzao wenu vikaweze kusimama on you they cannot go beyond you because you are the light of God i decree restore restore natangazia tu ya gachilie natangazia tu ya achilie zaka taba somebody declare restore 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 open your mouth ambi adu ya achilie ha 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 bwana amesema tangazeni the liberty of my people bwana hajasema tangaza speak in your mouth kwamba vifungo vyenu mnaondoka kwenye vifungo Bwana ametupa mamlaka hatutaendelea kufungwa kanisa la Holy Gate hatutafungwa fungwa sisi hatutakaa kanisa limeshindwa tunatangaza liberty of the lives of people of souls of people we declare liberty in the land of Bungoma we declare liberty in Kenya we declare liberty tunatangaza kwamba waliofungwa kwenye vifungo ndoa za kutekeza tekeza tunatangaza hondokeni ndani hautazoka kwenye ndoa unasumbuka mpaka mwisho lazima bwana avunje kwa kufuli za vifungo ha bwana zakata ya mazanta ya zikata mazanta bazaya ah ah sisi hatutakuwa mateka wa adui ha mazakata ba we shall not be princess Uh, being serving servants we will not be kings serving servants uh, but we take over the authority of our kingdom we take the authority of our rulership and authority we declare that later our slave masters become slaves let our slave masters become slaves wacha walio tuteka watekwe na tunawateka kwa nguvu ya Yesu Kristo vile bwana alifunga ngome za giza zote na akaziburuta katikati ya kila mtu akaona leo bwana tunafunga mateka wetu tunawabruta tunawabruta makataba zanta tunafunga mateka wa maisha yetu tunafunga mateka ya familia zetu 
Tunafunga mateka ya maisha yetu. Tunafunga mateka ya ndoa zetu. Wasichana wetu hawatangangana kuolewa. Tunafunga mateka ya wasichana wetu. Hawatateseka Bwana. Mateka tunafunga wale roho waliotumwa kutesa watoto wetu kutesa uzao wetu hey bwana leo tunasimama umetuambia